Now let's talk about more stories as Nigeria faces an economic downturn. Stakeholders are calling on the government to provide more economic opportunities to the teeming unemployed youth and the building resilience of small-scale business owners in the country. This from part of the audience, so advice as Save the Children is leading efforts to empower victims of insurgency and to commemorate this year's World Micro, Small and Medium Day Enterprises, Enterprises Day rather, that took place in Porto State. With more, uh, here's our correspondent, Umaru Kirawa. In recent years, the northeastern region of Nigeria has faced the devastating impact of insurgency, displacing millions of people and crippling local economies. From cup meters, incense and perfume producers, among other micro, small and medium enterprises, battle to survive. Experts here maintain that investing in the micro, small and medium enterprises will build resilience and help the region recover from the conflict. Before we will give you the NABDAC registration number to make anything that is food, you must go to the hospital, you must be certified medically fit so that you don't uh, contaminate the food and somebody else will now buy it. There's cholera, cholera epidemic now. So we make sure that you are fit. They will make sure that the environment where you are preparing the product will not contaminate the product. As you can see, these people received grants ranging from 100 to 150,000 from us without any condition because there are people recovering from a crisis. Stakeholders believe that investing in micro, small and medium enterprises is not only economically sound, but also essential for social and political stability. Because of the food crisis we are facing, it's not easy for people to save and invest. So access to loan is what the government should encourage, and that should be done by reducing interest rates. A more supportive environment for business is said to be critical to addressing the hardships occasioned by the fuel subsidy removal, among other government policies. In my degree for News Central, Umaru Kirawa. Coming up, court restrains the Sokoto government from sacking two district heads. We'll bring you more on this and other stories after the break. Stay with us. Brighten up your morning with the latest news from the African continent. Good morning, Africa. Welcome to Breakfast Central. Weekday mornings from 7 a.m. West African time. Breakfast Central brings you the latest news, interviews, business, politics, entertainment and sports. Broadcasting live from Lagos, Nigeria, this is Breakfast Central. At a meeting in Greater Dam, Holland. Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. West African time on News Central. Africa first. 